In this video, we're going to talk about how to identify a conditional equation, contradiction, and identity. So let's start from definitions of the three types of equations. First, conditional equation. To be a conditional equation, it means this equation is true for some x values, but false for the rest. For example, x minus 1 equals 2. We know only when x equals 3, this equation is a true statement. For any other number, after we plug back, it will be a false statement. So x minus 1 equals 2 is a conditional equation. Next, contradiction. To be a contradiction, this equation is false for all real numbers. This means no matter which number you pick for x, it is always a false statement. For example, x minus 1 equals x minus 2. In order to solve this one, we subtract x on both sides. So we can have an equation negative 1 equals negative 2. But apparently, this is a false statement. That implies no matter which number you pick for x, you will always get a negative 1 equals negative 2, which is a false statement. This implies x minus 1 equals x minus 2 is a contradiction. And the last type is called identity. That is, no matter which number you pick for x, after you plug it back, this is always true. This is always true. For example, x minus 1 equals x minus 1. We do the same trick, minus x on both sides. We're going to have negative 1 equals negative 1. This is always true. No matter which number you pick for x, you will always get negative 1 equals negative 1. So this means the original equation is an identity. So next, we're going to talk about how to identify which type of one equation belongs to. Let's turn to the next page. The method will be straightforward that you only need to solve equation directly. So let's start from this one. I want to know which type of this equation. So let's solve it. In order to solve it, we notice we have parentheses. So the first thing you need to do would be distribute. So we're going to have 2x minus 6 plus 2x equals 5. Next, combine the like terms. 2x plus 2x, which is 4x. Keep the constant, minus 6 equals 5. And then finally, add 6 on both sides. We will have 4x equals 5 plus 6, which is 11. The left hand side is 4x, meaning we need to divide by 4 on both sides. So the final answer is going to be x equals 11 over 4. Here, we do find a solution. So once we can find one solution or maybe two solutions, meaning this equation is a conditional equation because it is true for some values but false for the rest. So the conclusion is this one is a conditional equation. Let's try the next one. Let's distribute first. So we will have 2x minus 6 minus 2x equals negative 6. Again, let's combine the like terms. Negative 2x minus 2x, which is 0, minus 6 equals negative 6. This implies negative 6 equals negative 6. This is always true. So because this is always true, it implies the original one is an identity. Because no matter which value you plug in for x, you will always get negative 6 equals negative 6. So the conclusion would be this equation is an identity. Let's check the last one. The last one, let's distribute 2 again. You will have 2x minus 6 minus 2x equals 5. Combine the like terms. 0 minus 6 equals 5. 
negative 6 equals 5. This is false. Because this is always false, it implies no matter which number you pick for x, after you plug back, you will always have negative 6 equals to 5. This is a false statement, meaning the original equation is a contradiction.